Suppose a discrete memoryless source outputs a symbol every t seconds. Each symbol is selected from a finite set of symbols x i i is running from 1 to l occurring with probabilities p x i and i is running again with prob with from 1 to l the entropy of this source in bits per source symbol is given by h x is equal to summation of uh, p of x i log 1 upon p x i less than equal to log l base 2 the equality holds when the symbols are equally likely we can take this formula h of x is equal to summation i equal to 1 to l with negative sign p of x i log of p of x i less than equal to log l base 2. With an example, we can see that this inequality holds. For example, I take two symbols uh, x1 with probability uh, p of x1 is equal to 0 0.5 x2 p of x2 is probability 0 0.5 then equality will hold because these are equally likely now hx will be negative sign uh, p of xi 0 0.5 log 0 0.5 base 2 minus 0 0.5 log 0 0.5 base 2 it will be minus 0 0.5 log 0 0.5 I can write it uh, 2 to the power minus 1 minus 0 0.5 log base 2, 2 to the power minus 1, it will come out to be uh, min minus 1 will come here, it will be minus 0 0.5 into minus 1 log 2 base 2 minus 0 0.5 into minus 1 log 2 base 2 it will come 0 0.5 log 2 base 2 is 1 minus minus is plus 0 0.5 log 2 base 2 is 1 so it is 1 if we take three symbols x1 with probability 0 0.5 x2 with probability 0 0.25 and x3 with probability 0 0.25 then we shall find the entropy of this source will be equal to minus 0 0.5 log 0 0.5 base 2 minus uh, 0 0.25 log 0 0.25 base 2 minus 0 0.25 log 0 0.25 base 2 it will be 0 0.5 my with minus sign log uh, base 2 to inverse minus uh, 0 0.25 log base 2 2 to the power minus 2 minus 0 0.25 log 2 to the power minus 2 base 2 it will be equal to minus 0 0.5 into minus 1 so it will be plus 0 0.5 minus 
2 minus 2 will come here it will be multiplied with 0 0.25 so it will be plus 0 0.5 plus minus 2 will come here so it will be multiplied by 0 0.25 so it will become 0 0.5 and log 2 base 2 will be 1 so it is coming 1.5 now we see this uh, right hand side here log l base 2 this is uh, our left hand side and now we are seeing right hand side log 2 base log base 2 l l is the number of symbols we are seeing number of symbols here is 3 and this value will come out to be uh, if I convert this uh, to base 10 it will be log 3 base 10 divided by log 2 base 10 is equal to uh, 0 0.4771 divided by 0 0.301 it will come out to be 1.58 which is less than 1.5 this uh, inequality holds we have seen with these two examples for fixed length code there are x i i is running from 1 to up to l these are our symbols we want to encode the symbols into fixed length code then what will be the length of these codes that formula will be given by r equal to log of l base 2 with seal which is same as log l base 2 floor plus 1 if L is not power of 2 else is equal to log L base 2 if L is power of 2. For example, we see uh, English alphabets are there. There are 26 English alphabets and if we want to encode these alphabets in fixed length codes, then what will be the maximum length of each symbol? A, B, up to z there are 26 alphabets then length of the code will be log 26 base 2 uh, if i take its seal it will be 2 to the power 4 is 16 2 to the power 5 so it will come 4 point something so 4 point uh, whatever it is um, 6 or 7 whatever whatever it is if I take its uh, seal it will come out to be 5 if I take A B C D 
E F G H. There are eight symbols. Eight means two cube. These can be represented in three uh, bits. So uh, R will be log eight base two will be equal to log two cube base two will be equal to three. So that is uh, how to find uh, length of the fixed length uh, length of the code of any symbol. Not any symbol. We shall see how many symbols are there and in how many bits those symbols can be represented. Prefix code is the code in which no code word forms the prefix of any other code word. Such codes are also known as instantaneous codes. In fixed length codes, no code word will be the prefix of any other code word. But in variable length codes, it can happen. For example, if uh, I see uh, x1 is represented by 0, x2 by uh, 1, x3 by 0, 1, x4 by 1, 0, x5 by 1, 1. And if I find some code word 1, 1, 0, 1. Now it's very difficult for me to find what actually it is. I can see 1, 1, it may be x2, x2, 0, x1, again x1, or it may be x5, x1, x2, or x5, x3 or many other combinations are also possible here. We shall see how to overcome this type of problem. Now, I want to find number of uh, average number of bits per source symbol. How can it be found? If it is denoted by R var, n i uh, p of x i i is running from 1 to l if there are uh, symbols x i symbols and i is running from 1 to l it can be given by this formula where n i is the length of xi symbol. He, if for example, if we want to know average length of this code, if it is coming with probability uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.125. We can see R var is equal to Ni, Ni will be 1 here, P of Xi is 0 0.25 plus Ni will be 1 here, 0 0.25 plus n i will be 2 here 0 0.25 plus n i will be 2 here 0 0.125 plus n i is 2 here for x5 it's a 2 0 0.125 
it will be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 it will come out to be 1 this is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.51 1 1.5 1.5 bits per source symbol. 